as Nigerian art is increasingly celebrated overseas. Collector Yemisi Shilon wants to ensure works created in his country also receive domestic acclaim. His collection combines sculptures, paintings and photographs with the oldest work dating back to the 9th century. I started collecting out of interest and it grew to become a passion and then it grew to become an obsession and then it has grown to become a glorious obsession. Glorious in the sense that it has become something that has given me life, given me happiness. After amassing 7,000 artworks in his personal collection over four decades, the 68-year-old lawyer last year donated 1,000 pieces to a museum in Lagos. Lockdown meant the public were unable to see the pieces for some months. But now they are back on display against the backdrop of the Black Lives Matter movement, which has sparked a debate about the role of colonialism in the ownership of African art. Let us promote the richness and the beauty of our culture. And I use my art collection as a means of propagating our past, our present, and the ability to look into the past and present to help people understand the future. Experts say there's been growing interest in African artworks among global collectors with prices at international auction houses rising by between 70 and 100 percent over the last decade. But some say artistic heritage is not a priority in a country where most people live on under two US dollars a day.